That's right, we're back. Hello, it's me. I've returned. I can't believe it. I'm back on Twitch. I didn't think I would come back here, but you know what? Gosh darn it, boys. I don't know. I don't have a good enough reason. I feel like a hypocrite because I definitely was like, uh, I'm not going back on Twitch. And then I lost my Twitch account, and then I made a new Twitch account, and then I was like, well, you know what? Also, because um, I didn't like the fact that I was putting uh, gaming streams on my channel where I was talking about wrestling. So I'm merely just using this as, you know, just a, a really just as like a, a, a separate thing. I'm doing the hotkeys. I really should not be doing this right now. This is literally the worst time in the world to be doing this. But like Hachi Machi, man. Like, I, I, if I don't do this now, it's not going to get done. So, this is probably going to take a while. I just wanted to do that. Okay, so does this work? Okay, it works. All right, hello, we're back. Um, the music is going to be really low because I'm not sure if it's copyright or not. Uh, I'm low-key worried because I don't necessarily know how it's going to sound. Can I not move? This, oh, golly, sorry, yikes, I didn't know that was going to happen. Okay, we're back. Okay, I'm not going to touch that. All right, Sable, um, I don't know much about it. Uh, it looks like a very chill and, you know, I don't want to say like relaxing game, but it looks very like, you know, uh, melancholy and it sort of gives me like journey vibes. And I don't know, I was racking my brain because I was like, what should I play? I don't know what to play. I was thinking about uh, Shadows of Doubt. And then I was like, that game's going to be a while. And then I was like, should I play Bioshock? And I was like, eh, I'm kind of like in the middle of playing it right now. I don't really feel like starting it over. So I was like, you know, we're just going to pick a new game. And that's where Sable comes in. So without further ado, we're just going to jump straight into it. Oh, here we go. Oh. You should start a new game. Well, that's why I clicked on the empty slot, but all right. Okay. I don't know what to expect. I'm excited. I hope my controller doesn't vibrate. I don't want to play with my controller. I would like to play with my mouse and my keyboard. So, I'm ready to go. I was adjusting my microphone. I apologize. All right. Am I good? Am I too loud? Hold on. Audio test. Audio test. Oh, Jesus. Why, why, why with the, why? Also, why did no one tell me? <laughs> okay. Hi, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, that's great and all. Hold on one second. All right, that's great and all. Hold on one second. Why do I sound like that? Why do I sound like this? Why do I sound like that? Why do I sound like this? Why does, why is the game like all the way up? Okay. I need to be paying attention. Oh, God. This little beetle guy. I thought if I clicked it was going to, um, Skip the 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 witch of a and I'm glad I didn't. Ooh. I've got it set to 60 FPS. I hope that that isn't. Okay, I'm gonna assume that that's a style choice. The way she's moving. Sorry, there. Well, no, it is a woman. Whoa. What's going on? What's popping? Brand new whip just hopped in. Are you talking to them? Should I be talking? Should I not be saying anything? Game seems a tad low. Do I move? Am I moving? I am moving. Okay. I hate when games do that. Let's start a ceremony. View quest log. What is that? Escape? I should head back to camp. Okay. Yeah, can we get the sensitivity up, please? Hachi machi. Hachi machi. Got. Gotchi bachi. Let's go like right there. Let's get it up. Just just a little bit. Just a Alright, because I gotta gotta look around. Alright. I can jump, okay. Alright. Uh we're gonna keep the audio where it is. I don't necessarily I don't can I ask a question? Why is my why is my gain? Why is my why is my gain? Why is my gain all the way up? What is going on with that? Is that anything? Did that do anything? All right, turn this back up. Right, okay. Turn this back up. Why okay. is it because I'm too close? Why what is, is happening? Too close? What is happening? Is it because I'm too close? It might be because I'm too close. It might be because I'm too close. It definitely did not sound like this when I was recording today. It did not sound like this when I was recording today. 
Why? Why? Okay. Why? Why? Okay. Don't down mix the mono. How about that? Down mix the mono. How about that? I don't. I honestly have like no idea. I honestly have like no idea. I don't know. I hate that it sounds like this, and I don't know what to do about it. That it sounds like this, and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, I I got nothing. Uh, I I got nothing. <laughs> I don't know what to do. You're gonna hear me like twice. You're gonna hear me like twice. Okay, get that. Okay, we're figuring this out. We're figuring. I have to do monitor and up. Okay. Why? Why do I sound like this? Why? Why do I sound like this? Why? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try something. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try something. Hold on. Why is there a slider on the Why microphone? Slider on the microphone? See? See? I'm back. I'm back to I'm I'm normal again. I'm back to I'm I'm normal again. What what the hell is was what was going on there? What the hell is what was going on there? Okay, give me give me a little bit more. 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 What what the hell? What was that all about? Okay, microphone check one two one two. Microphone check. I'm in the blue. Check. I'm in the blue. What in the world? That was so weird. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Shift. I've got s stamina. i got to go back to camp. I'm running. All right. Uh, I step on this. Okay. That opens that. I don't have to stand on it, which is good. Well, I already figured out how to, how to jump with space. Okay. Do I? Okay. I can climb on these guys. I had a feeling. Okay. Climb the ladder. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Go back down. What's over here? Nothing? Does this not open? No? Okay. Oh my god, what was that? Hear that. Maybe that was me. I think that might have been me. Okay. Alright, uh C to crouch. Alright. Ta da Is that camp? Camp might be up there. Or maybe camp is where that smoke is coming from. I jump down, I'm jumping down. Birds. Do I jump down from here? I'm gonna jump down from here. Bowie. Okay, let's go. Sprinting, all right. You can only sprint once you have enough stamina. Man, I don't have any stamina. Jumping doesn't seem to take up any stamina, so that's good to know. Man, that was weird. I don't know why my microphone was doing that. To be fair, though, if that's the worst that my microphone is going to get. Although, to be fair, there's been times where... Ibex camp, okay. There's been times where my microphone has done, like, the weird, like, high pitch. Oh, look! She, like, climbs rocks. Okay, cool. So, if I, if I start sounding like a mouse, then that's, that's a microphone being funky. All right, we're a, we're a camp. Okay. Mans has a bucket for a head. Mans is floating a rock around. I can feel Jaddy, Jaddy, JD, JD smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing a little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused in her eyes. I probably have very little to worry about. You know you're nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? And yet... I shrug, but any attempts that casual are fruitless. The movement is jerking. I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulder, she laughs. I mean it, but I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through my fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down, you leaned forward, and put those little grassman claws in the handles, and you were off. And I remember thinking just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jada reaches out and plays his hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. Uh, I don't know where to start. I think I'm ready. I don't know where to start. Jada's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Halal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Halal... He Hilal? Halal? I don't know. We'll share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what Jada is saying, but I, I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. Uh, what if I choose the wrong path? 
Ask JD what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths stable or right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Abexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak with Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Caesar, but you know how he is. The compass. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible satisfying precision. Thank you. Hold Q. All right. Nice. The ceremony. I need to complete task for Halal and Driss. I gotta go up in here. Halal. Hil Hilal. 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 What's up, man? E. As I approach, he, he lo whatever, man. They give me an enthusiastic wave. I always appreciated Halal's verve and verve and vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nervous for balance. Sable, take this. Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like a static on cloth. Uh, what is it? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Halal what this is. Oh, say we can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel connectedness, fuzziness, electricity. Then you're doing it right. What do you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Okay, great. That's me. Okay, but it's it's closed. Am I supposed to open the stone? Did I not do it right? Am I not worthy? Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Hellout claps their hands twice and bobs a little. Appre I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. I was about to leave. Hello stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple. So go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember JD's words. And I remember JD's words now. And tell Halal I'll go and see Driss. We're spring stones. Are you quest log? Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Oh, there's two. I spoke to JD at camp. She said Halal and Driss. I need to complete task for Halal and Driss. Okay. Okay, you can change them. All right, well, let's do these first. And then... Q. Uh, okay, so this is this is this guy. All right. Uh, I need to go. Do I take fall damage? We're about to find out. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. All right. Uh, Driss, what's popping? My my man. Hello. Is this mine? Cool. Ibex camp. Though I told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do. Not as I race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore? Will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Saber, or hello. Hello, how are you today? Also, you have something special for me. How are you, man? I ask out Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there a moment, but I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words will spill out. I ask Driss if, if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike. He also like gets an idea he's just had. Your bike, yes, of course, right, yes, your bike. That I was meant to, that I prepared for you because today is your gliding. Just nods along to me. Yes, of course, right, yes, yes, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you in a, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Great. Uh, okay. Yes, exactly, a learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding. But Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. I'll give it a go. Really? I mean, yes, good. Be gentle, though. This sand cutter is older than JD. You treat it with respect. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. When you're not riding it, your hoverbike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. I see. Hop on this bad boy. All right, accelerate. Oh, I almost fell off straight. Okay, so I guess that's to like, you know, help. Okay, and then, okay, so it toggles. All right, and it makes noise. Okay, shift to go faster? I don't know. So this is currently what we've got going on so far. I I can feel the cold in this. Where am I going? I have to go, what am I doing? Uh-oh, ride the sand cutter through the ring and back. Like, does it matter where how I... Oh, baby! That was great. Alright, go back to Driss. Also, the ring activated. So, that was interesting. Oh, never mind. I thought it, like, went behind the rock. Turns out that that's just... That's just how it is now. 
I, I like the noise it makes. Alright, Chris, we're back. Hello. Why do you have a hookah? I returned to Chris to see someone managed to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? Uh, what do you mean fires? Surely you notice if you were on fire even a little bit. Uh, was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Uh, is the bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been by Hello? Uh, yes. That wasn't, okay. I'd nearly forgotten about Hello, and thanks just for the reminder. Before at least nudging him a little about the bike, I asked him if I'll still be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands, right. And Halal got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that, uh, morbidity you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank just very much for his help and his bike. And I depart for Halal. Away. As I depart for Halal. And I climb. And I run. And I climb. A. <laughs> Is there, like, a day and night cycle? No! Don't do that. Okay. Okay. I thought I was going to be able to... Okay. There we go. Oh, look, okay. Oh, no! Okay. Well, I'm learning now. Don't move when you're on the when you're on the ladder. So, that's good to know. All right. Hello. Hilo. Hilal. Head over to the temple stable. I promise it'll be worth the trip. I thought I was supposed to go to you. Now I don't know what to do. What's happening? I need to complete the task for a little interest. I can read the gliding stone at the altar. Okay, uh, alright. Hold on. Alright. Activate the gliding stone. Uh, okay. Then, alright, I guess we're hopping in there. I guess we're hopping on this bad boy. And we're going to the altar, which is at the edge of the canyon. So, I guess that's where we're going. Yeah, look, it's over here. Alright. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. I don't know where the heck the altar is. But hopefully, it's close by. I don't 100%. No, hold on a second. We're gonna do a bit of an audio test. We're gonna do a Damn bit it! Of an audio test. Wow, that's Damn wow. It. That um uh uh uh. That, um, uh man. Uh, uh, oh my god, I'm confusing myself because I can hear my vo own voice. All right, hold on. I okay. I have to be like really really quick. Hello. Hello. Oh my god. Wow. I, okay, wow. The latency. Man, jeez. I literally do not have a chance at all. Okay, well, hopefully the audio is good. Alright, let's just for posterity's sake. Let's just... Like right there. Okay, and then we're just going to leave it there. Alright. Away! Okay, we have to go over there. Activate the... Okay, you know what? I'm not confident. I'm not confident. We're going to go back down to 20. I'm going to go back down to 20. Okay. I'm not. I'm just not confident. That's it. Okay. So I guess it's up there. Where did the sun go? All right, hop off of that. It'll be fine. Don't worry. I like that you can just climb stuff. All right. And then I guess we're heading up here. Hi. Ha. Huh. Okay. Hold on. Get the get the stamina. Okay, we're just climbing. It's like a friggin' whatchamacallit. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Man. It's like a, a Breath of the Wild and what have you, with the stamina and the climbing on the walls and whatnot. All right. Hi. Okay. And then up here. And then bada-bing. Wait. Oh, no. This is already open. Check my man out. He made me think of, like, a lot of things, and I could not narrow down... What exactly he reminded me of. Oh! Alright. Well, that was great. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, everything's, like, really pale now. Because the sun has gone down, so... I would assume that this is the game's way of saying, like, everything is dark, you know? I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. I don't like how everything has just suddenly become washed out, but I feel like that's the point, you know? Like, that's the artistic direction that they have decided to go in. So this is the altar. This is where I'm supposed to be. It's giving some nautica. The stone thrums like a beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid, exhilarated? Or maybe it...
feels right. As my dogs scream and cry about, I mean, nothing? It could be nothing. Uh, am I afraid? Exhilarated? I mean, it's all three. Maybe it feels right. I am ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. Rohana, I feel a curiosity in this sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Is that what the big head was in the beginning? Oh, that's the, okay, that's the stone I got. Oh! Should I run? My dogs are telling me to run. They're telling me that it's not safe and that I need to get out of here. Hello. What's happening here? Oh, it's shaking. I don't like the shaking. Is this good? Is this good? What's happening? Oh, the color. Oh. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to let this happen. I'm going to assume that this is a good thing. I'm glad I put it down to 20. Am I okay? Oh. And just like that, the sunlight is back. Oh. Oh. Make sure your feet don't get caught. Okay, now I'm being, like, risen. Did you guys know this was going to happen? Hello? Hello? Did you guys just send me out here not knowing that this was going to happen or not? I don't know what's worse. Is that it? I'm loving the sandals. Do I have powers? Well, I still have my lungs. That's good. And the, 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 the rock is back with me, so that's also good, too. I probably shouldn't call it a rock. I forget what it's called. Press hold. Okay. And glide. Oh, that's right, baby. I got the gliding bubble. That's right. Oh, there was a tutorial there, and I did not read it whatsoever. So, if there's something that I need to do, I do not remember it. Uh oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I chickened out. I don't know what to do. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's a time limit, which is good. So I can just sort of glide perpetually. Oh, that made a weird noise. Okay, I have to get out. I have to get out of here. So I gotta climb up here. I gotta climb up here. Was the sun coming out? Tomorrow. That's your bottom dollar. That's... Tomorrow, what do I do? Uh, uh oh, okay. Huh. Damn it! Hold on, was there like a, jeez. Okay, quest, bike parts, badges, clothing, cool. Fishing, general, uh oh. I can change my clothes. Neat, neat, oh. <gasps> There's a map, oh, okay. There's a whole lot going on here, okay. Uh. Uh, g great. Okay, let's pretend that I am an absolute doofus and I fell off of the first platform because I am brain dead. Oh, that's it, huh? You just fall off the first platform, huh? Okay. Well, what do I do now? Do I climb back up? How do I get back up there? Oh, it comes back down. It's an elevator. Okay, so you are allowed to mess up. Okay, good to know. So, I get on this. I go back up. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. Okay. And we're in there like somewhere right. Okay. Press old space. Okay, you just told me the same thing. Alright. So I'm not missing anything. Thank god. I was worried for a bit of a moment there. Well, well then, if that's the case, what the hell do I do? I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. And then... And then you climb up here. Because she can clamber on things. And yeah, yeah. And then you go over here. All right. And then, oh, first person. Okay. And then you run over here. Don't break. Thank you. And then, hey, ho. Hey. Oh, my God. Stop doing that, please, and thank you. Okay. And then, huh. That's right, baby. I'm out of here. Can you imagine if I fell? All right. So, now what? I guess we go back and we tell them about all the crazy happenings, I guess. So this is a thing now, I guess. You know, I can I can do this now. That's good. Okay. I was trying to figure out what the hell the sounds were. 
as I gently glide back down to my other craft. Okay. All right. Uh, show hello the activated gliding. Oh yeah, the gliding stone. That's what it's called. I knew that. It was merely a test, just to make sure that you were following along, that you understood the assignment. Okay. And what was being said. So. Head back to camp. And then. Once we do that. What's that? Is that the, the ring that I was supposed to go through? Apparently I'm supposed to collect fucking uh, trolley gummy worms up there. I have zero. Whoa, baby. Okay, that was great. All right. Ebix. Oh, I didn't know it was going to go that high in the air. Hello. Okay. All right. Should I hover in front of him? Show off. That's right. Can you hover? Are you surrounded by a ball of energy? I don't think so. Check this out. Look. You see that? Whenever time they love to, they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf. In a way that makes me miss them before I even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Exciting. True freedom. Strange. I'm a little queasy. Safe. Like a warm hug. Safe. I tell Hollow that I feel most embraced by the perpetual. Warm and safe in my own little bubble. They swoon. Oh, that's such a nice way of describing it. Halal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. They're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might never have come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. That's not very safe. I don't think that's a good idea. Is that really what you do? I think about it. Why not? If I have the power, why not use it? Okay, but that's not safe. I don't think you should be throwing yourself into chasms. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes really serious focus. How long lasts, even if there's a bit of regret in it? And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but aside that there's already too much loss in my mind to consider much further. I'm saying goodbye to my calm, my family, my, my clan, sorry. My family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're gonna love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and for their help, and I'll tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance all in one. Right, I, that sounds like harrowing and also nice at the same time. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures toward the tower. Seems Caesar wishes to see me before I leave. All right, Caesar has a test for me. Caesar has a test for me. Where the hell... Okay. <laughs> I was about to say. Where the hell was he pointing? Can I talk to you, Mom? J... Just sorry. J JD? Hello, little glider. It's so strange getting called that. That's big glider to you. What was your gliding like? Ask JD about her gliding. Tell you what, I'll tell you when you get back. Cross my arms in protest. Pout all you want. I don't want to spoil any surprises. She lowers her voice to a whisper. But I did meet some crystal farmers once. Crystal farmers! And that's all I'll say about that. You should get going. So crystal farmers are really cool. We should probably be excited... My leg itched if we ever get to meet a crystal farmer in our uh, in our lifetime. Okay. Oh, check that out. Well, now I want to go talk to them. I want to go talk to them. I want to see what they're going to say. I forgot that this thing doesn't have a limit on it, so I can just be an absolute mongoloid if I really wanted to. Who are you people? Come here. I want to associate with you. What's up, man? I approached the cartographer. Cartographer Jordan. Ah, greeting shot. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? She really is. I nod enthusiastically. It really is an impressive vessel. However nervous however nervous I get imagining being up there all alone. Okay. I wonder if anyone's ever fallen off in one. Best not to ask right now. Well, good to meet you, and oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. I suppose if you come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? I would love a map. I told the cartographer I'd love a map. Of course you would. That'd be fifty cuts. To my ears, it's a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. I tell Jordan I'll be back. I need to ask Jay for some money. Farewell, child. Well, now I need to ask... Wait a second, you little bastard. What's up with you? Er, uh, Elaria. The balloon was more fun. What was it? I want to be a carnaga... When I go gliding, I'm going to be a climber. Okay. What did you say before? That's it? Okay. She's... I think she said she wanted to be a can can canagrammer. I don't know. A mammogram? Who's this person? There's so many people to talk to. What's going on, man? As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sack a I wonder what she's thinking about. Uh, something in your mind? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Alaria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Alaria. Do you want me to get her back? 
Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine, and I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting? Yeah, I understand. I, me? I understand. Yeah. I know exactly what she means. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Yeah. You'll kind of get an idea for it. You know? Hey, can I have money? I told you that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map or of the Uber. I try to hedge the way I speak about this as I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely its value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use them most, use them, whoa, use them mostly wisely and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I thank JD eff effusively and head out of my way. Time to go get a map from the person that has the same name as my brother. But it's not spelled the same bow. It's spelled with a U. The only difference is that my brother's name doesn't have a U in it, but I low-key think it's pronounced the same bop. That's right, you little goblin. I'm back. All right, give me. Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect, let's trade then. Give me the map. All right. I got 150. I thank Jordan for the Ewer map, and it's all... And all its vast possibilities. Something about it makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I'll still remember mine. I think I was. Sure. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you from Hakoa to the Sotic Waste. I thank Jordan for the trip. Tip. And say goodbye. Farewell, child. You've unlocked a piece of the map. You can navigate to the map screen in the pause menu. Once you have visited a place, you can fast travel to the location of the map screen. Your bike will also travel with you. Neato map. All right. So, oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Already clear all of them. Thank God. Yes. Okay. So there is a. I can I can put markers down, for I guess like specific things. Okay. This game is going to be very. This is gonna. Okay. Fast travel. All right. What the hell am I doing? Ga 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 ba 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 la ba. Okay. See, there's a task for me. Okay. So, head over to the tower to see what Caesar has to say for me. Aren't you glad that I went and check? Hold on. What's that? Do I want to go check out what that is? I kind of do. I kind of want to check out what that is. It's a bit far away, though. That's the only problem. And you know what? I probably can't even go into it. We'll never know. Maybe I can't go into it. Maybe I can't. Life's mysteries. All right. Aren't you glad that I that I went over there? Because now I've got a map now, you big dummy. To be fair, though, they probably would have told me to go to that map. I mean, to go there anyway, but it's fine. What's this? Ooh. See? Exploring is learning. What's up, boss man? She's always an out clanner to the Ibexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall. And I think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, are given their posts and by their training and their code, must go to where they are needed. But Cizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she's one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, or that the, our designation of Ibexi versus outclaners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. Oh, like we're xenomorphs. No, like we're xenomorphs. <laughs> xenomorphs, yep, we're aliens. I mean, well, we're not, because we literally have human features. But in practice, such things are more the result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. And I'm always pleased that CISO did. Sable, well, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Better now that I'm getting a bike. Excited for my bike. A bit worried. Am I really getting a bike? Uh, you know what? Let's not hide it. I'm excited for my bike. She has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mouth when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, JD told me how excited you were. Cecil sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think you may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I told her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Driss his forgetfulness. Were I attacked with so many odds and ends, I might just... I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. Uh, I'm gonna make my own. That sounds like an adventure. 
I tell Cecil I like the sound of that, a little adventure before my big one. It's more meaningful than you know. To bond with one's bike before it has taken form is more privileged than labor. Here, take this. This used to be some, the navigator. Ooh. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. Ask is where I might start looking. Our bikes are reborn in the ruined ships and fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. That guy? Over here? <laughs> You'll fuck. Oh my god, you'll find another up on that great rock near the other side of the canyon. That guy up there? Hi, yay, yay. And another behind the old dam on the hill. Use your navigator to mark that down if you need. You'll need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. I'll be back before you know it. I'll tell Cizo. I tell Cizo I'll see you soon and head off and search the components. Together we will create something new out of the old. Okay. I can't move. Why can't I move? Help. I can't move. Hold on. Okay, the keyboard does work. I literally cannot move. Oh, I have to hit the, the button. Oh, I see. Look. And then that guy. And then this guy. Place marker toggle sensitivity. Okay, and then exit. Okay. Well, that didn't that didn't work. I didn't it didn't, it didn't let me put one. Hold on. Okay. And then there. Okay. So there's like probably another one somewhere. Just randomly play. Whoa. Okay. All right. Uh, I keep thinking it's like N again. It's not. Okay. Uh, oh, they go away. So if I hit N, it'll tell me. Okay. Uh, well, what's the, cl well, this one's the closest. I almost fell. All right. Calibrator, carburetor, loaf of bread, carton of milk, stick of butter. Loaf of bread, carton of milk, a stick of butter. Hold on a second. I swear to God, I just saw something. See? Is this one of those weird worm thingies? Okay. Chum egg. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. All right. A chum egg. Well, now we got to look out for that. So, chat, if you see any chum eggs, shout, uh, chump. I don't know. All right. Can I call my bike? I cannot call my bike. It does not seem like I am capable of doing that. I low-key do not feel like having to go. And get my bike. So. Find a control panel, power supply, and an atomic calibrator. Okay. A loaf of milk, carton of bread, stick of butter. Stick of bread, carton of loaf, milk of eggs. Oh, the music. That's right. I'm in here. What's this? I don't know. Well, it's an old ship. That's what they mentioned. But I was talking more about the thing that got me into this building. Okay. There's nothing you used to be found in the ship, but I noticed the blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push it, obviously. A voice cackles, crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Raymond. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Alright, let's see if what that old Mackin has told us holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. I hear the sound of the mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Yes, Raymond. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rana, on Rana's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static and a lower rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked. We're flying. More cheering. Is that the sound of someone dancing? Okay, okay. Let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Raymond? Let me check the mechanist's notes. A long pause. The rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off is still increasing in pitch. Raymond? That lever, Toma. The one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off here. Oh, no. Robin, you fool! You absolute... <gasps> Baffoon! Is it this glowy thing? Gimme. No? I Sorry. Freak me out. Alright, is it around the ship? Hello? Do I move? Okay. Oh, God. What? What do you want? 
Saima, are you looking for a calibrator? I'm immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taken tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I'm older, more experienced, and should be more than able to withstand it in practice. You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. She never fails to get to me. You're a horrible child. Saima laughs off my irritation, but I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I cross my arms and try to affect the change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put it on. I put on my hand, proud of myself for standing tall before Saima. If you give me some beetles, that's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide if it's more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator or to acquiesce. But then I simply stifle a sign, shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. Come here, you little bastard, you little fucking dickhead. Oh, hey. Run him over. Kill him. Attack him. Absolute mate. Fuck you. You little bitch. You little frizzy haired piece of shit. Come here. Dickhead. God. Is it something you ever something I want? Oh, I'll give you something I want. I don't even know what that means. Alright, I have to go into the village. Or the camp. Whatever. Little bastard child. Ho! Okay. And we go up the steps. Okay, because I don't feel like walking. Alright, JD. Help me find beetles, girl. I could ask about catching beetles for that awful little Saima. Do you want to find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetles start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Jada greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. Uh, can I get out? No? So strange getting called that. I thought, JD, how strange it is being called glider instead of sable or even clan child. Just trying to get you used to it. She seems to really like it, and maybe I like it, too. My little glider. Okay. Get the beetles. Get the beetles. Where the heck are the beetles at? Oh, God. Uh, east of here. I assume that's north. So east of be Oh, right. Or it's the, the big white. All right. Pardon me. Excuse me. God. All right. Seeds. Uh, can't catch the beetles. Was that the beetle at the beginning? Is it right here or no? I don't know how far it is. I carumba. All right. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's past here. Is it above? Am I going up? I don't know what the heck is going on, Bob. Okay. Oh, Dodd, always push buttons. Was that your mom or something? Sorry for coming in so late. No, you're fine. I was not... I, I was looking at the wrong um, side of the chat. I was looking at the bottom instead of looking at the chop. The chop? Hi, Dodd. I was, look, I was supposed to be looking at the top of chat. Hi, Dodd. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Hope everybody in chat is doing well, not just Dodd. If you're watching me right now, I want to give a shout out to you. You're absolutely fantastic. I love you. And I couldn't ask for a better viewer, you know, currently watching along. Dodd, I apologize if I've taken so long to respond that you have you have since moved on to doing something else. I apologize. Why is the chat over there anyway? That's so stupid. Why is it not on the other side? You can't even move it, which is so dumb. I can't see. Ugh. Anyway. Birds. Is this where I'm supposed to go? No, it's all good. Okay, hi, Dad. How are you? Long time no see. We haven't spoken to each other in a while. And that's okay. We're very busy people. We've got things going on. I was in the hospital. Because my butt was acting funny. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, God, I hate that. I've never seen this game before in my life, so my help will be limited to guesswork and speculation. Dodd's a backseat gamer, but in a good way. Shouts out to Dodd, okay? He's the greatest. Come here, you little piece of shit. You little bastards. What if I just trap you in a fucking corner? Oh, they go underground. Never mind. Where do I get the seeds from? These? Alright, I'm moving away. 
Hurry. You little bastards. Alright. Why is everything a little bastard with me? You were in the hospital? I was! I just want to help. You can always tell me to shut up. I respect it. Dot I'll always tell you to shut up, no matter what. You little elephant beetle. Alright, just go get that. I don't fucking care. Alright. I'm always going to tell you to shut up. I tell everybody to shut up. Like, literally everyone. So, you're not exempt from that. If anything, this is the thing that you need to know about me. If I'm, like, cursing your name, right, and I'm, like, calling you names and all that sort of stuff, but I'm not, like, actively, like, bullying you, you know, and, like, making fun of you in an attempt to, like, make you feel bad, that means that I like you. That's my way of saying, hey, I love you, you know, I cherish the friendship that we have, you know, or the family ties that we have, and I think you're great. Uh, I'll call everyone dude. I used to say bro, but now I say bruh. Uh, but yeah, I was in the hospital. So for those of you who don't know, uh, I was like MIA for like a full week. A full week. And uh, it was bad. I don't want to get into detail because it is it is gross. It is gross. But um, I I, I, uh, I thought that I had... It, it was to the point where I thought I had like a specific form of cancer. Like that's how, that's how bad I thought it was. But uh, I do not. Uh, I just have ulcers in my stomach. And I'm currently taking medication for that. And, uh, yeah, man, that's, uh, that's what was going on with me. I, yeah, okay. And uh, I was in the hospital for a couple days. And it was not bad, but, man, it could have been a, where did the little piece of shit go? It could have been a lot better. Uh, stop eating such spicy food. I thought it was the, the salt. I thought I was eating too much salt. Also, fuck you, I haven't eaten spicy food in, like, like, what, like, four, three years? Okay? I haven't had three racha in, like, ages, okay? So how's about you get out of here, sir, okay? I do like the, uh, I like, I like the, uh, the observation, though, of potentially you're feeling like this because of the type of food. What the fuck? Get the Beatles to, si okay. I must have accidentally, like, deactivated it or something. Okay. She likes to play in the cave underneath the camp. What is it with children and doing shit they know they aren't supposed to do? Cave underneath the camp so you can get eaten? You little... Huh. Okay. It could be both. Wow, my bad. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're bad. You little dickhead, assuming. Uh, it could be both. Well, okay. I got in trouble once for with a teacher. Why? Oh, is it that thing of like, oh, I'm not a dude, I'm a woman... Anyway, I feel embarrassingly vindicated to the hand sign of the Beatles. But rather than gloat, she ends with the color and begins to... Oh, what? 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 What is it, you little... F what have I done? You're leaving. You're leaving and you'll never come back. Oh, shut... Sh <sighs> She's a child. She's a child. And... Sorry, they're a child. And they're obviously... They obviously feel some type of way about the fact that I'm leaving. And they're going to miss me. And, you know, they... They, you know, they... um are are obviously not really coping with it in the most healthy of ways. And again, they're a child, so, you know. And again, they're a child, so... Okay, I had to test my audio. Sorry, I'm back. All right. Let her cry. You know what? Should I comfort her? All right, chat, what do you think I should do? Because both are viable options. You think I should just let her cry? You think I should just, like, let her get it out? You know, wait till she's done? You know what I'm saying? Be like, all right, are you all good? Is everything okay? Or do you think I should comfort her? You think I should... I mean, because, I mean... She's not really that. I mean, sorry, they're not really that bad, you know. They're they're it's it's all right. They're they're a little they're a little shithead. Okay, there's not really much that I can say about that, you know. Uh, I almost want to let her cry it out, but I'm gonna leave it up. Comfort. All right, we got one for comfort. We're gonna comfort. She blows her nose. Uh oh, God, I, th I thought she like blew her nose on me. I was gonna throw her into a rock. Yara never came back after the last calling. Aren't you sad? You were a friend. I hate kids that do that. I hate kids that do that. She's basically a little sister to you. I hate kids that do that. Oh, my God. Oh, this thing happened. Aren't you scared? Don't you think it's going to happen to you? Why do you look like that? Why is your face like that? Am I going to turn into that? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, you little... She might visit again someday. People leave. That's her choice. You got to teach, okay? You got to have... You got to teach kids early on, like, hey, man, this is what happens, okay? Sometimes it's not okay, but it is what it is. I tell someone that Yara's allowed to do whatever she likes and that if it's her, if it's her choice to go, then we must respect it. I wonder if she can tell I'm putting a little extra weight in my voice. But she hope sounds like the wisdom of age. You wouldn't leave forever, right? Well, 
Well, you, I, you don't know. I can't make that call. I don't know what's going to happen out there. I can immediately go out there in five minutes. I could be like, I don't want to come back. You don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I start to speak with someone coming over the wheel. Please don't go. Oh, shut up. Tell someone not to worry. I'll be back sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she passed by in the mask. And I add that if I'm not back sooner than she knows, that she'll be ready for her gliding by then, and she can come bother me herself. Promise? Yes, I promise. Uh, you basically, hey, I get why kids do it. I've learned a lot from my nephews and child psychology. Good, then I suppose I can come see you off. I think I can say goodbye for now. All right. Ships of old. All right. Uh, well, all right. So now we have to, let's head behind the dam. The damn, damn, damn it. I have to go back up here. Because I didn't take my, my, my glider. Uh, so, like, kids don't know shit. And they ask questions because they don't understand it. Yeah, but some of them are just like, you know. Some kids are assholes. Where's the glider? It's over here. Is it all the way back there? Where is it? I don't, oh, there it is. Okay, thank God. All right. All right. Uh, can I do it from here? No? Wow, that's dumb. Okay. Uh, so take this guy off. Take him away. Remove. Okay. And we've got these two. Okay. All right. Hop on this guy. Me. 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 Ah. Me. Okay. Kids know things mainly through their senses, which is partially why toddlers chew on partly why toddlers chew on things. <laughs> That's true. They don't know what the hell it is, so they think, okay, well, if I put it in my mouth and it's bad, that means it's not edible. But if I put it in my mouth and it's good, that doesn't necessarily mean it's edible. It just means it's something that I can put in my mouth, and if I bite down hard enough, it will break. I put a lot of stuff in my mouth. Erasers, coins, my fingers... Uh, boogers. You know. I should probably specify that I did that when I was a child. Because I did not... I don't think I was very clear when I said that. So, I do not just chew on coins and erasers as a 26-year-old man. Alright. But if I did chew on coins and erasers and my boogers and my fingers as a 26-year-old man, the fuck are you going to do about it, alright? I'm a strong, independent black woman. My man has two jobs. Oh. All right. A lever. A lever. Ooh. Uh, I called the teacher dude. He took exemption to it. To be fair, my tone was a little rude, but I never meant to be mean about it. He wasn't even a full teacher. Ow, oh, damn. Okay. Uh, but he was in his 20s while I was a late teen, so I should have been more respectful. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Dodd, did you do the homework? No, I didn't do the homework, dude. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> I like how you went, he wasn't even a full teacher. Bow, okay, take that. You little teacher's aid having bitch. Okay, that's right. Meanwhile, Dodd is a teen. He's probably like 6'2", 250 pounds. I'd be pretty pissed if somebody said that to me too. Looking like that, all right? Yep. Fucking really large... What the hell is this? Ooh. Ooh. I was bigger than most of my teachers. Yeah. I would have fought you. You're not supposed to do that, but I would have fought you. It would it would have been I would have been asserting dominance. Cuz I'm I have been 5 foot 5 foot 2, 5 foot 3 ever since I got out of high school. And if I was a teacher and you're fucking Gargantuan ass walked in. Hey, what's, what's the assignment, huh? I'd have been like, you fucking... If you don't get your... Come come here. And I'd put you in a headlock, and it would not work. And you would, like, stand up, and I would be, like, in the air. And then I would just get even angrier. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, Mr. Lewis, can you, like... Are you gonna teach us? And I'd be like, no, fuck! <laughs> you know? And it just wouldn't work. You'd be my scarf. Wow, so you would kill me, huh? You would kill me and then wear my body as a fashion statement. I see how it is. I'm nothing more than an article of cloth, a useless piece 
Of course to you. I see how it is. You don't talk to a guy for a couple months. Now, Dodd, I was in the hospital. How dare you treat me like this? Don't you know that I could have died? I couldn't have died. That's not true. I shouldn't say that. I don't have to kill you to wear you. Oh, that's a threat. That's a threat. Do you hear this, Twitch? My Twitch, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. Where am I going? Okay, I have to... Okay, now we have to go over here. All right, hold on. I have to get off of this first. Hold on a second. I have to get, I have to get off of this. Why is the worker not saved? That's so stupid. All right. What are we at? All right. We're going to get the uh, the thing. Hold on. What the hell? Is that one? Hold on. Okay. I guess that's where we're supposed to be going. I hope. All right. Chat, you hear this? Huh? You hear this, 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 this slander? This motherfucker is going to wrap me around him. And he's just going to, he's just going to treat me like a, like a prize. How dare he? Okay. I was bedridden, okay? It was terrible, Dodd. They did things to my butt, man. You're the one trying to put me in a headlock. I am! Because how dare you <laughs> develop your body type? I don't know. Uh, I guess we're going up here? I guess? What the hell is that? Okay. The graphics are good. I like the, the, the style. It's very unconventional, which kind of sounds like an insult, but, like, you don't see many games, like, going with this type of color palette, you know? I thought we were climbing on the vines. We're not. We're climbing on the with the wall itself. That's why I climbed on the vines at the beginning of the game. The Boyd's. But I guess the vines are, like, a symbol of, like, hey, climb, climb this, you know, clamber this. Man, I hope I'm going the right way. If not, I'm going to be very upset. So what am I supposed to... Alright, we've got to find a power supply. Okay. Uh, okay. I met a Marine the other week. Man put me in my place with an arm rustle. Yeah, well, that happens. Listen, Dot, I love you, okay? You're big and all, but... I don't... I... I don't think that you've got... <laughs> I don't think you're, like, toned. You know? You're like my little brother. He's got a lot of... He's got a lot of mass on him, but... I don't think that that... I don't think mass equates to strength. I think you can be difficult to knock over, but that doesn't mean that you can, like, lift a car. You know what I mean? I think I'm supposed to go this way. Yes. I most definitely am not toned right now, but after losing the way I did, I wouldn't get beefy again. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Oh, somebody emasculated me by being stronger than I am, so now I have to get strong. There was a commercial, and the guy was like, yeah, uh, I have a cleft lip. And he was like, I took a Muay Thai or whatever. And then right after that, he followed it up with, I got bullied mercilessly. So immediately I was like, okay, so you took karate so that you could beat the shit out of people for making fun of you. Like, you didn't take karate because you were like, oh, I want to learn how to do this thing, and like, I want to respect the craft and all that. You you wanted to learn karate because you were tired of getting bullied, so you just wanted an excuse to beat the fuck out of everybody. Deliver the parts of the season. Okay. Hey, I didn't say emasculated. I want to get strong to have more fun with the arm wrestling. I know, I'm just saying. That's, how, that's what some people... I'm not saying you specifically. Sorry. I mean, like, you in general. Uh, that's how some people are. Some people are like, oh, he, he came at my, at my manhood, at my ego, you know, and then, and then they're like, you know, I gotta, uh, <laughs> I have to right the wrong, you know, so, uh, okay, Cezo, he's at the, whoa, baby, he's at the top of the tower, Ebix camp, Ebix, Ebix camp. I'm not so insecure in my manhood that I need to be the strongest with everyone. Have you seen what some of those strong men can do? Yeah, man. I've also seen what, like, 
fake strong men can do. Have you seen the the strong the quote unquote strong men who like inject themselves with stuff and you know they they're ugh. God, I'm thinking of like that one video of the guy who's like, you can see his skin is tearing. His skin is tearing. And he's like, he's not flexing. He's just like putting his arm up. And like, you know, like how you flex like your, your I don't know, what, your bicep, you know? We don't talk about them dudes. No, let's talk about them. Those guys are, those guys are odd. And there's something like deeply troubling about them. And how they feel they, the need to like completely destroy their body. I heard the season with the parts. And it's as she waves me over that I feel a panning of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready. Actually. Hold on. Wait. The ceremony. Okay. The little parts. Okay, never mind. Alright. Alright. So, a bike of your own. I am, yes. Here we go! Bubbly, bubbly, boo! Caesar relaxes in the workshop. It is in that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one only truly appreciates when Caesar is in her element. I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquire, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Nice. Assemble the machine. Press our buttons. Pick this up. Put this there. <laughs> Gliding bike wings. Okay. <laughs> we don't talk about them dudes. No, I feel like we should. Gliding bike booster. Booster. Okay. And then, turn up, gliding bike front. I like this. I like that you're building your own bike. It's a sense of like, you know, you feel more connected to it. Because if they had just like given you a bike, you wouldn't have felt, you know, like a personal connection. You would have just been like, yeah, whatever, you know. Okay, well, do I put it together or do I talk to her first? Let's put it together. Si Simoon. Oh, I wanted to name it. If I'm reading this right, this game is Breath of the Wild meets Mad Max. That's what it's giving. It's giving like a uh, wasteland exploration journey type deal, you know, upgrading your character, upgrading your bike, exploring, you know, finding secrets and stuff. So it doesn't seem like Mad and if Ma and if Mad Max in the sense of like going around this big open world and like exploring a bunch of different uh uh areas and stuff like that then yeah and then breath of the wild in the sense of like yeah upgrading character and running around and using your your character's abilities and stuff to traverse the level then yeah listen she's all tilt her head a moment leaning closer simoon all at once i know the hover bike's name simoon i say it in a whisper to let season know simoon sea moon well done sable what sort of name is that what does it mean what does it mean? You should ask her yourself. Cecil looks entirely serious. The bike, to my enduring surprise, says nothing, even when I lean close. I tell Simoon that I'm eager to know her better, and Cecil looks quite proudly to both of us. You are ready, then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps, but Cecil is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow mechanists on your travel, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. It's a Machinus badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth, and they'll give you more badges. I thank Cecil twice for good measure, and give a bow. I'm ready. I should speak to JD about the final gliding ceremony. All right, let's speak to the JD about the final gliding ceremony. Uh, It's cool as funk, my dude. Watch your language. Don't fucking swear, okay? I don't play that shit, dog. If I catch you saying any foul language, all right, I'm going to come the fuck after you. All right, so watch that shit, bitch. <laughs> I return to JD with new lightness, and it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Caesar gave it to me. I tell JD that Caesar gave me his badge. Then he must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the Ma Mask Caster in no time. Oh, like Max Caster. Listen. Okay. I love the Acclaimed. Everybody loves the Acclaimed. 
I try to think about going to a mask caster, but it seems impossibly far away. I imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I, what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will be asked to choose one. How will I choose one? You'll have to feel it out, but when you know, you'll know. Now. The tone of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there's only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the Temple of Rohana. There you'll assemble your gliding mask and go. There are things I wish to convey to JD here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. I bexy glider trousers and I bexy glider top. They're dyed with the traditional Ibexi maroon and I hope of I hope, and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be stable, clan child of the Ibexi. You will simply be stable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. Ah, <laughs> JD, and I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin, and I'm ready. I should head to the temple to begin my gliding. Do I take my glider or no? I don't, well, I don't think I can. All right. Let's head on here, boys. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out of here. Somebody. I didn't do anything. Fuck. Ah. The ceremony. Go to the ceremony. Do I have to go up? Am I going up? I knew I shouldn't have gone to this just yet. I'm glad I didn't. I said to myself, I said, self. This looks like something that we probably shouldn't go to yet. I'm glad I didn't go to it. Uh oh. Okay, hold on. And then clamber. Let's go. Oh. All right, we're going in. Going in. Oh, we're back here. Wait. Whoa! Rohana, is that you? Oh. The ceremony. The ceremony, like share. All right, we're platforming. We're 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 platforming. We're forming a plat. I guess I have to go this way. I'm assuming we have to go this way. I don't know. I gotta get up there. Ha. Okay. No, I missed it. Alright. Bada bing. And then climb up here. And then climb bay. And then we take the steps. This has more, this has boss room vibes. It does, but it's not, which I like. Oh, look, we press. Okay. Oh, what? Why would I get lowered back down? I guess that's the point. I guess I'm supposed to do that. Because look, now I have to come over here and climb up here. Okay. I understand. I getcha. I getcha. Hi. Okay. Head in here. And then over yonder. You did do do do. Water over yonder. That's a good show. I like that show. I think I I think Wander has autism, I think. Cuz there's like a compilation of like Wander like stimming. He would, like, clap his hands and, like, stomp his feet, like, point and stuff. I feel you, Wander. I feel you. I don't have, like, that type of autism where, like, I have to stim, but... I'll catch myself doing that sometimes. I'll, like, clap, you know. Uh, am I going the right way? Should I not say that? Is that insensitive to people who have that type of autism? 
I feel like I'm I'm trying to like put myself inside and I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Where the hell? There we go. Climb. Okay. Oh, neat. Exploration cuts. A cache of 100 cuts made from metal harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid through for easy and convenient transportation. Uh, I'm scared. I panicked. Hold on. Where the hell? It's not even over here. What the hell am I doing? Why did I do that? I feel a lot more people are on the spectrum, especially nowadays. I think the reason is because people are starting to realize that they are on the spectrum. Like, people are not just suddenly going, I'm autistic. People are going, oh, I'm autistic, you know? Like, oh, that's what that is. That's why I'm doing that. Like, I'll be the first, one, I'll be the first person to tell you that. Not to self-diagnose myself, but I there's no fucking way I don't have autism. Like there's there's just no way. Obviously, I have like a very specific form of it, but I I if you if you came up to me and told me I was not on the spectrum, I would not believe you. I'd be like you're you're crazy. Okay, here we go. What if it was a boss? Hello. Okay, well now it's now it's giving grime. I'm getting grime vibes now. That's another one too. I'm also getting grime. This like you know otherworldly situation. <laughs> I like that. I don't know to be honest. Fair enough. Is that my mask? Do I put that on? I should change my clothes. I can't pause the game. Alright, this is serious. This is serious. Something serious is about to happen. Here we go. Epexy mask. Alright. Outfits. Mask. Bob up. Bebop. Epexy glider trousers. Okay. Epexy glider top and epexy mask. Alright. Return to camp. One of my brothers is on the spectrum, and he hates acknowledging it. He is a pretty sensitive guy, though. Yeah, I know. My dad's like, that was my little brother. He doesn't like when uh, we mention that he has autism. But I mean, like, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You know? Like, he has it. So, you know. Kind of weird to not acknowledge it, almost. You know what I mean? Like, pretending like it isn't there. Don't close it. I keep thinking that, like, the fact that the sun is back out is, like, some sort of significance, and it's not. It's just a day and night cycle. And I, like, have to remember that. I do like the color. I like the color. The palette is very, like... Again, there's, like, a very, like... Everything is, like, on purpose. You know, there's a sense of style. Everything isn't just, like, thrown together, you know, just for the sake of it, just for, like, some sort of, like, weird, you know, wannabe artistic vision, you know? Like, everything is, there's, like, a, there's like a, a, you know, a sense of, like, these colors go together. Like, my, my you know, my cape blends with the, with the environment that I'm in, and it goes with, like, my outfit and everything, and the white kind of, like, offsets it, you know? Like, there's, there's a, there's a, you know, there's a meaning to it, you know? Not to cast any level of judgment on this game, but a lot of these female protag games have some spiritual element to it. The art style is gorgeous to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just a coincidence. That's just me, though. Logging in. Hello, Sable. JD's... Oh. <laughs> JD's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There's a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I'm grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepily into her arms to stay forever. <laughs> but I'm ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. 
But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Utari. They're the machinist at Burnt Oak Station and among Caesar's closest friends. Utari is a good contact to have no on one's gliding and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we return to the Uwer. So keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. Okay, so this is, it's, 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 uh, Blair Witch, where you have to, like, every time you get, like, a lull, you have to call your, your wife or your girlfriend. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. <coughs> Good luck, as I swallow my spit. And so we're off. Into the great yonder. I was gonna say the great blue yonder, but. Where's my glider? Okay. Am I, like, getting it? This is me. As so I walk. Ceremony. Leave the canyon. Oh. I have to call out. Take out my glider? Why the hell would you make that noise? Wait, where is everyone? You're going to get it. Okay. Let's go! Bum 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 Sable, I turned the music down because I was afraid of it being copyright. Okay, I should speak to Utari. Just the two of us. We can make it and wait for just the two of us. You and I. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, that is going to, I'm going to call it here for the first episode of Sable. What a wonderful game. I love it uh, so far. I love the art style. Uh, I can't really say too much about the music because I haven't really heard too much of it, but that might be because I turned the music down because, again, I was afraid of copyright. Uh, so far, I love the characters. Shout out to JD and uh, Amari. I can't remember the name. Either way, this is a great game.